For years, there's been intense scientific debate about what's causing the thinning of the Antarctic Peninsula's ice shelves. This is one of them right here. It is the Larsen Sea, and it covers a huge area. It is the size of a small country, and it contains vast quantities of freshwater ice. Scientists have been unable to determine whether it is warming air temperatures or warmer ocean currents that are making it more vulnerable to collapse. Turns out, it's both. An international team of researchers studied radar and satellite data from the last 15 years and found that ice was being lost above and below the surface and they're now predicting the shelf could collapse within a century, maybe sooner, and with little warning. We found that the ice shelf was losing ice and this is probably due to ocean melting from below. And we also found the ice shelf is losing air from its snow um, and this is probably due to atmospheric warming. So what we know now is that the ice shelf is subject to a, a two-pronged attack from above and below. Now, two neighbouring ice shelves to the Larsen Sea collapsed in 1994 and 2002, and this led to the glaciers behind speeding up, carving more ice into the ocean and so raising sea levels. And it would be the same story, but on a larger scale, if Larsen Sea was to disintegrate. Larsen Sea is bigger and if it were to be lost in the next few decades, then it would actually add to the projections of sea level rise uh, and the rate of sea level rise by 2100. We expect that sea level rise around the world will be something in excess of 50 centimetres higher by 2100 than it is at present. And that will cause problems for coastal cities and low-lying cities. So what this discovery means is that scientists will be able to make more accurate predictions about just what effect the breakup of the Larsen Sea and indeed the recession of glaciers around the world will have on global sea levels.